Hi, in this video, let's learn about how to use materials in our Isaac Sim. So you can make your objects fancy like shiny, metallic, or transparent. Omniverse is using MDL, which means Material Definition Language, for expressing surface or specific materials. And MDL supports PBR, Physical Based Rendering, which is an extremely popular texture expression in the graphics industry. And given that there is kind of language you can modify and customize itself. So for our first example, I'm going to teach you how to use predefined MDL materials. Those are already provided by NVIDIA, and I'm going to show it in two ways. First, for Isaac Sim GUI, and Python codes. All right, let's create a ground plane and small cube mesh for our first first GUI example. Create mesh cube, create physics ground plane. So first thing to do is just use basic PBR material. So in order to use PBR in Isaac Sim, you need to create material first and apply the material onto the object. So create, yeah, right like click in the stage tab and create materials. This one, the basic one, Omni PBR. After this, the change, let's change the properties of these materials and I'm gonna change its color, which is albedo in here. So I'm gonna make this more red. And you can modify whatever you want from this tab. And let's change its name as not just Omni PBR, but a LED Omni PBR. Enter. So, in order to apply this new Omni PBR texture to our cube, click this cube, and in here the property tab, and this from this materials on selected models, you can change these materials into our previous created one, LED Omni PBR. Yeah. Now you can see what happened to our cube. Basically, it's kind of binding create a texture and create objects and bind textures with objects. This was the basic of using Omni PBR. And now let's learn how to use more fancy MDL materials. I'm going to use NVIDIA's predefined MDL material, as I mentioned before, so you can find them from Omniverse, localhost, NVIDIA, and here materials and base. Here, you can find tons of materials in here. Let's click wood. And you can find several fancy wood materials in here. What I'm going to use mm, this one, cherryplanks.mdl. So let's click this wood and simply apply this texture by dragging and dropping like this. Yeah. Basically, whenever you import new materials under this Looks tab, you can add newly added materials here. But you can also do like what I did before, just dragging and dropping. Let's try this again for our ground plane. Yeah, for this ground plane, more looks more fancy. I'm gonna wanna make it into the stone texture. So from stone. Let's click this one. Let's just select this one. Slate.mdl. Again, drag and drop this material. All right. So you just learned how to use Omni PBR and MDL materials in Isaac Sim. Now it's time to do the same thing with Python code. Example for this video is example eight. Hello MDL material. If you click this load button, our first example, now you can see a golden, but actually this is a, not a golden, but a brass cube with a lucky floor. All right, let's dive into the code. So first thing we're gonna do is analyze in these parts, set up scene. Now I'm spawning default ground plane, and now I'm adding this cube with this add cube function. Most of the parts in here, you already know about those, those parts from our previous video. And here, 
Now I'm making two material, concrete material and brass material by this function, add MDO material. So let's dive into it. Here, it looks a little bit complex, but it's actually simple. This code, we're going to execute from this MTL URL and import this material into our stage with this named path slash word slash loop slash concrete smooth with this name, concrete smooth. And if everything goes well, and we're going to get a leak material handler by using this API, USD shade that material. And do this exactly the same thing for brass material. And finally, link on those two concrete material and brass material. Those are handler retrieving by USD shade API. All right, now we have two materials in our stage. So what is the next thing to do? Yes, binding these materials with actual objects. You can find the code from this setup post load function. And here, we're going to select our object with relative path from stage slash world slash blah, blah, slash Q slash blah, blah, blah. And we're going to bind our previous concrete material and brass materials with those objects. USD shade that material binding API is doing that. And here's one thing I want to mention about this second parameter. This one stronger than descendants. And it depends on your environment, but usually there would be a hierarchy in your object. For robots, for instance, the basic color can be black, but some parts can be blue or silver in your robot. So if you set this second parameter as stronger than descendants, this material will ignore their child components material and just override itself. So if you don't want this, use this one, weaker than descendants instead. For our next example, let's learn about Omni Glass. Again, here's small cube mesh and ground plane, but this time I'm gonna create Omni Glass from Material tab. And like before, attach this Omni Glass material to our cube mesh by clicking this property tab in here and clicking this Omni Glass. And is it really transparent? I'm gonna show you by this. Let's place the cube in a corner here. And if I watch this code in this view, yeah, you can see this is like exactly looks like a glass. And you can also modify the properties of, of this glass material from this property tab. Here's a lot of properties, including colors, yeah, and reflection rates. You can change a lot of properties in this Omni Glass property tab. I had made fancy example for possible application for Omni Glass from extension.py, Python file, switch example into hello Omni Glass wine. And if you learn this example, don't forget to saving this file. Yeah. Look at this. Yes. Here's 49 colorful wine glasses that have random colors, random depth, and random reflection rate. So whenever you reset your simulation, you can watch different lizards. Let's dive into the Python code. And to be honest, Python code for this example is not that much different from the previous one, from setup sin. I'm gonna set up 49 different coordinates for glasses and spawn 49 wine glasses and change their location, translation, and orient orientation and scale. And lastly, create 49 random omni glass materials. Again, after creating those materials, what do you have to do? Yes, we need to bind those materials to actual objects and from setup post load, bind those 49 on the glass materials with wine glasses. It's exactly the same as before. So quite simple, but looks fancy. Okay, 
So from this video, we learned about OmniPBR and OmniGlass for adding textures on our simulation. Please do some practice like this second example and see you next time.